Hi, this is Drew with Realty Web Solutions. Uh, this is the first tutorial for getting your WordPress website with the RWS IDX plugin. First step, choose your package. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and register a new domain name. I can do that through this interface here. I'll order the domain name. I'm not going to purchase any additional packages, but I'll move forward here. At this point, the server is provisioning a new hosting account with WordPress installed with the starter theme for WordPress and the RWS IDX plugin. Okay, so you will receive some welcome emails with important information regarding your hosting account. I'm going to follow the link, go to my client area. I can view my product through this interface. You see the information that was entered previously. And we can now log in to the WordPress account. This will bring me to my login screen. And now I'm looking at the dashboard. So the first thing I would want to do is change my settings within WordPress. So I'll navigate to the Settings tab and then General. From the Settings tab, I'll go ahead and first step change. I can change out my site title, my website tagline. And now I want to enter the domain name for my website. Then I'll hit the Save Changes button. It'll prompt me to re-log into the website. I'll use the login criteria that was provided in the email. After you log in, you'll view the dashboard again. The next thing I would do is enter the settings for the RWS IDX plugin. You will need to enter an agent ID an API key and an API server in order to use the software. I will enter the API credentials that are provided in the email. Hit the save button. Now when you view the settings page you should see API status active. As you can see here, your plugin will need an update. All updates in WordPress are done from the update page. From this screen, not only can I update the RWS IDX plugin, I can also update other WordPress plugins. You may want to hit the check again button to view all available updates. Now by checking the All button here and hitting Update Plugin, I will update all the plugins within the website. All right. So if I return to the settings for the RWS IDX plugin, it'll say Current and Active. That's what you want to see. The next step is reviewing the settings, making sure they're all to your liking. Any of this can be changed or edited based on your requirements.
Under the registration tab, there's the ability to disable the user registration prompt that appears on listing detail pages by checking no. You can enable or disable the custom fields on the sign up page. If you like, you could redirect the visitors after registration to the dashboard by checking yes. You can enable uh, the visitor to view a number of listings before they're prompted for registration. So for example, by setting this variable to three, on the, on the fourth listing that they view, they're gonna be prompted with a sign up. And then as far as how many listings they can view before they get registration prompt, you can also have that prompt set. So if I have this set to three and set this to yes, every fourth listing I'll get a registration prompt. Again, those registration prompts can be closed if, if the visitor uh, chooses to do that. Under map, uh, there's a number of map options. One of them that you, you might want to consider is the information that a, appears on the info bubble uh, for the individual listings and you can change that information here using the template tag options. Tracking, um, we have the ability to offer additional uh, website tracking where you can see the visitors and individuals who sign up, uh, what pages they've looked at, what searches they performed, what uh, specific listings are they viewing, and you can view all that information in real time. That's an additional add-on service you would have to purchase from RWS. And then we will provide you with the, uh, the API credentials to enable that feature with your website. By default, we enable cache mode. Um, we don't recommend disabling cache mode. Cache mode will improve the performance of the website, uh, performing search queries and, and grabbing listing data, but you have the ability to disable that information. I recommend just leaving it to the settings that are already here. Um, you have the ability to enable or disable um, contact form spam protection for both the contact form, the registration form, as well as the, uh, the modal uh, registration prompt. There's some advanced settings and then if you're having issues you, you would want to check the uh, compatibility under the settings compatibility tab. And when you're happy with everything go ahead and hit the save button. Alright so I, I've done the initial setup of my website now we can do a, a additional features or functionality but I think for the timing that's enough. Um, on, the, on the next tutorial, we'll, we'll get into more details about the administrative interface for the website.